Well hello all, welcome back to John's Workshop and in this video we're going to be doing a little bit of a job, nothing too major, a bit of machining which will be nice because I've not done any for a long time. So I've got, we've recently purchased a motorhome which is new to us and we've had motorhomes in the past but with what's been going on in the country and in the world over the last two or three years we've we've not been away, we've not had any holidays or anything like that so time's come to start getting out and about a little bit again so we've just purchased a second hand motor home I went down last weekend to pick that up which oh, it was a tale of woe in itself but anyway we got it back home nice and safe so just making some preparations and going through it going over it having a look at bits and bobs that we may need to have a look at and one thing that's important in any vehicle on the road is you need the ability to be able to take wheels off if you get a puncture and so I looked at the tool kit that came with the motorhome, they're all pretty standard in motorhomes and unfortunately the owner, well fortunately the owner who had the, the vehicle before me had put some nice alloy wheels on and so I've got two on the front and four on the back of this vehicle and they look very nice uh, unfortunately the, the wheel nuts themselves are counterboard into the wheel therefore the brace as they're called in the UK at least, which is this thing to get the wheel nuts off needs to fit inside the counterbore in the wheel and this one doesn't so I thought about what should I do should I just get a socket a you know, thin wall socket that will go in and just use a big breaker bar or something and then I thought oh, hang on I've got a workshop let's get this into the workshop we don't need to take much off probably about a millimetre off the outside diameter of here which won't really weaken it any and we'll give that a go and so that's what we're going to do so uh, so as it says on the board uh, my nuts won't fit so I'll just get set up on the milling machine just now I'm going to use my new boring head which I've never used so that's going to be interesting and because I'm machining a outside diameter with the boring head as opposed to a bore I'm going to need to run my mill backwards which is in itself a challenge because my mill is not really geared up for that so I've got to figure out how to get the machine actually running in reverse to have a crack at this. So all of that being said I will bring you back at the milling machine just shortly when we're getting set up and we'll have a go and see if we can see if we can modify this wheel brace. Okay so we've put the wheel brace in the vise I'm just using an old V block that I actually made as an apprentice because I don't want to use my decent V blocks on something like this. This this is all rusty and needs a clean up anyway. So how I'm doing it, it's not I can't rely on the the bar itself to set the vertical to get this somewhere near right. So I'm just going to use my inclinometer, digital inclinometer. So what we're going to do is just turn that on, drop it on the table, zero out. Would help if you're pressing the right button. There we go. So that's us on zero. And now I'm just going to sit that on this upright and see what we measure. So that's 89 and a half degrees, roughly. I'm not going to mess around with that for that for what this is. I'm just going to check it the other way. Zero out. You won't be able to see the reading. 90 degrees dead on that way. So for what this is, that is perfectly good enough. So we'll tighten the vice up at that. As I say, we've not got a lot to come off, so that should be fine. And I'll get my boring head set up in the mill and bring you back. So just before I put the boring head in I'm just putting, <laughs> this must be the first wheel brace in the history of mankind that's ever had a DTI on it but I've got it so I'm using it. I'm not expecting this to be brilliant. I'm just going to use this to largely eyesight to get somewhere near because I'm pretty sure this won't be round it's just a 
it's just a probably forged diameter as long as I'm somewhere near that's all I'm looking for so we're zero zero front to back that was lucky bring that to zero that side zero minus point one zero zero it's pretty good actually <laughs> that's within a couple of thou that's perfectly good enough for what we're doing here so I'll get that off and we'll get our boring head in okay so we've got our boring head in we've got a boring bar in it and we're clear of the outside diameter at the minute so I'm just going to bring that in by hand until we just touch on So we're just touching there. And then I have no idea what the graduations on this are in. I think they're probably in Imperial. I don't know. I'm just going to set a DTI up because I've never used this boring head. So everything on this boring head is Imperial. The grub screws and everything, I'm pretty sure it's Imperial. But I'm just going to set a DTI up onto the boring bar as I make my first adjustment and figure out what the graduations are. Okay, we've got a DTI set on the boring bar now. I'm on zero on the DTI, so I'm just going to see what happens here. Yeah, they're in Imperial. So we'll put 20 thou on, which is there. It's half a millimeter. And I'm just going to figure out how we get this thing running in reverse. I'll bring you back when we're taking our first pass. Okay, I think I've figured reverse out. So Let's see what happens.
another half a mil to come off and that's the job done. There we go, not the best surface finish in the world but this is horrible material so either way that should fit nicely into the into the wheels. So there we go, job done, nice quick one this week. I thought it was worthy of showing it for two reasons, one I'm quite short on time as well at the moment with going down last weekend to pick the motorhome up and this weekend spending time trying to you know, go over it and fix bits and pieces like this that need to be fixed. But I thought moreover, when you see people using boring heads, you don't very often see people using them in reverse like that for turning, which is effectively what we've done is turn the milling machine into a lathe to turn uh, an external diameter so I just thought that was worthy of showing might give somebody else some ideas if they've got bosses to make and things like that as long as you can run your machine in reverse you can flip your boring head round and do a an external diameter as well so most people will know that but there may be some out there that have never never seen that done before so I hope you found that useful um, not very not really a very exciting episode I've got to admit but it was nice to do a bit of machining again after all of the painting and doing all the sort of refurb work that I've been doing. So yeah, nice to make a bit of swarf, do a bit of machining, fix a job that needed fixed. And you know, that's, that's good to go back in the motorhome now in the pack. And I know if I get a puncture, I can get myself out of trouble. So thank you all very much for watching. Thank you to the subscribers and new subscribers. And we'll catch you all very soon on another video when we'll be making something else.